Happy Halloween! Thank you for tuning in to today's video. My name is Roya if you're new here and as I said today is Halloween. So it is a Thursday. Not the best day for Halloween just means that I won't be able to do like a morning pumpkin patch or like a hayride or whatever. I did work today so it is now afternoon evening time frame. So we're just gonna make do and make the best out of the time that we have left today and I'm already so sad. I feel Halloween and October just like dissipating already. I already see people bringing out all the Christmas stuff and I'm like I'm happy for you but like it is still fall. So I am trying to embrace all of the spooky vibes today. Basically what's going to happen in this vlog is I am going to pick up a really spooky book that I've been dying to read if you'd like to know. It is Carmilla. Now I've heard some people say that they like this better than Dracula or that it is better than Dracula and I'm pretty skeptical of that so we shall see if that holds true or not, at least for me. I am a big Dracula fan. I have like 50 different editions of Dracula. Love the story, it's a classic. So going to read that. I'm gonna get cozied up with that until it's roughly about the time where I start seeing trick-or-treaters out. Might hand out some candy. Um, but other than that, just like gonna do a really cozy spooky movie night. Nothing crazy. I'm not about to watch like the Terrifier or anything. It's gonna be like Casper, Halloween Town vibes. like. That's the vibes I'm going for tonight. Gonna make some spooky snacks. And then after that, we'll see. But this weekend, we are planning to go to Halloween Horror Nights. If you don't know, it is like the nation's best Halloween like show or like Halloween like party, like haunted houses and stuff. Last weekend for that, um, so Saturday, we're gonna do that. Grab a drink or whatever beverage or snack of your choice. And let's get into the vlog. I love this line the way that it's written. Her complexion was rich and brilliant. Her features were small and beautifully formed. Her eyes large, dark, and lustrous. So nicely written. I love when books are just so, the words just like melt like honey when you read them. I really like this book so far. I'm on page 33, chapter five or four. I think that's four. Or is that six? My I don't know Roman numerals that well. But um, yeah, so far I really like this. I am trying to bask in the rest of today's sunlight. As you know, it's, you know, October and it's that season where the sun sets at like six or seven o'clock. So I am a daytime person. And so this time of year is my favorite because I love fall, but I also kind of hate it because we don't get as much sunlight, but we are in Florida. So it's better than I guess some other places, but like, it still kind of sucks so i'm just trying to enjoy the rest of the light this evening sitting here in my room because it's hitting the side of this house right now so but hey i mean at least it's going to be nighttime and what better day of the year for it to be dark than halloween <laughs>
never seen Casper before, so we have to remedy that, and we are watching Casper now. We are back home from the Barnes and Noble trip. Um, I got a few things and I got something that I've been looking for everywhere. It's a Calico Critter Baking Baby Party Series and it's a mystery bag. So I figured I'd open it on camera because I have so many and I've been looking for these everywhere. So let's see which one I get. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say I would probably either want Mabel or Henry because he's got like a little teapot on his head. So let's see who I got. Do I need a scissor to open this? Ah, nope, I got it. Oh my goodness. Who did I get? Oh, I got Flora. So Flora's in like this little carriage. And let me open it up. Oh, this is so cute. So they had more than one of these. I think they're limited to two. But they're each like $5, which isn't too bad. There you have it. There's little Flora in her like cake, like cart thing. It's really cute. So I'm going to go put this on my shelf. But I wanted to show you the other things that I bought. 
so Barnes & Noble was totally just like a dopamine trip. I was just going for the fun. Serotonin. Um, but I did want to get some books. So because I have so many books already, I don't want to buy every single book that I want to read because I'm trying to be more sustainable, put stuff on my Kindle and the stuff that's on my bookshelf. It's either stuff I like to look at or collect or reread. So I found this book in the horror section. It's called Speaks the Nightbird and it's by Robert McCammon and it's a Salem like pilgrim um witchcraft witch trial book and it's a two-part book so i got both books technically for 23 dollars and i do have a barnes and noble membership so judgment of the witch is the first one and the second one is evil unveiled so it's basically a story about a witch that is accused of witchcraft or a woman that's accused of witchcraft um i don't know too much about it but Stephen King rated it as excellent and there are some pretty good reviews on here but it just looks like it's such a juicy and rich book and I do like reading about like Salem and I mean I'm literally wearing a shirt that's a Salem witchcraft and stuff so this is going to be an interesting book um, definitely one I might even like highlight or annotate and then speaking of Stephen King I got Salem's Lot and don't really know much about this but I guess it's about like I thought it was about witchcraft when I first picked it up but I guess it's about a house actually and like devils or like some darkness going on and I've heard good things about it and this is just such a fluffy paperback I love this it's so satisfying and I am trying to expand my uh Stephen King collection and I think that would be a good like November read and then an extra, I didn't have to get this, but it's a Sleepy Hollow story. So if you know anything about Sleepy Hollow, um, in this story, Ichabod goes missing. There's kind of a romance. And so she tries to find out what happened to him. And also like the same thing. I love a good fluffy paperback. And this just looks so like, I don't know, just like a rich story. And it says that it is a story of love, longing, um, haunting legends, and a sweeping romance and eerie thriller. So definitely up my alley and this is not something I got from Barnes and Noble but if you watched my last video I subscribed to this Parisian or French newspaper called Le Petit 3 and it's like this really artistic autumnal like just creative newspaper and it's got like it's it's even got a crossword puzzle crossword puzzle on the back but it's just like art creative poetry prose like just little DIYs sometimes or pictures, book reviews even. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, you can subscribe on their website, but um, this is not sponsored. I just really love this newspaper. But yeah, this is my second edition. Shipping is so fast. I'm really surprised at how quickly it gets here. But yeah, I just got this today. I'm really excited to read it. So yeah, that is my little uh, update. <laughs> We're getting in line for, what was it called? Monsters. Universal Monsters. Universal Monsters Bloodlines Haunted House. So I'll update you with our reaction after. I'm already regretting this so bad. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. I love, you know, the Dracula, the monsters, so that wasn't too bad. 